Hey there, it's Diane Banks, voice actress, radio personality in Chicago. Please subscribe, thanks for that. And check out my other videos you haven't seen yet, like my most recent Disney Princess Oscars 2016 Celebrity Lookalikes. And you guys had some great comments about that. Uh, Cupcake Sparkles talking about one of the women in the video, the celebrity, I didn't know her name, and she said it's an Irish name pronounced Searsha. Okay, and that's how you spell it. It looks like so rise. <laughs> but it's pronounced Searsha, commonly mispronounced. Great video, by the way. Uh, the lookalike videos are always a must-click on the notifications. Thanks for that. And then about the video that I did, The Simpsons Taking on Frozen. Got to check that one out, too. Rose Earring says, Bart is Kristoff. Um, so thanks for that tip from the video. And you'll know what she's talking about when you watch. Uh, and also a shout out to Rebecca's Creations, who liked another of my videos on Twitter. Thanks for that, Rebecca. She liked the Disney Zootopia 15 Easter eggs secretly hidden in the movie. So be sure and check that one out if you haven't yet and if you want to see it again. And also, if you guys are on Twitter, follow me at Diane underscore Banks, and I'll follow you back, okay? So thanks. Keep the comments coming, and please subscribe. Got some scoops today from Oh My Disney. They just posted this about uh, Finding Dory, some cool things that we don't know about, and also I found a few other tidbits for us too on some of the voice actors. So let's dive in. Get it? <laughs> I know, bad pun. Uh, Hank, the camouflaging uh, septopus, has more than 350 suckers on his seven tentacles. Wow, that's, that's a lot. And I guess he has a pretty big role in this movie. Um, Peeps at Pixar did a... Um, uh, an Easter egg on him, I believe. Most of Hank's expressions come from movement in his eyes and his eyebrows uh, because his mouth is pretty much on the floor. <laughs> they had to find another way for Hank to emote his general lovable grumpiness. And look at these sketches. Aren't they beautiful? Gives us something to look forward to. Can't wait to meet Hank in this uh, movie, Finding Dory, which, by the way, is out in June. I think it's the 14th. But this is cute here. It's like, It looks like... Poor Dory is inside a coffee cup, uh, coffee mug. Not a mug. What am I trying to say here? Coffee pot. So that's probably a fun sequence for us to look forward to. We'll have to look for that in the movie where she s finds herself in a coffee pot, I guess. The research team took thousands of pictures of real-life aquarium quarantines from the point of view of fish to make this setting and finding Dory look authentic. Well, that makes sense. Here's Dory. There she is again in the coffee pot. I'm curious to know how that whole thing went about. Uh, while most guests in an aquarium photographed the fish, the crew for the movie focused on casing clo taking close-up shots of tanks, tubes, pipes, floors, ceilings, and grime because <laughs> they wanted to get the whole background of what it's like for a poor fish. Uh, Dory's underwater world brimming with a rainbow of colors, soft and round shapes, implying warmth, familiarity, and safety. That's nice. There's no place like an enemy. That's cute. And then the human world. Uh-oh, we're the bad guys. The human world is harsh lines, artificial materials, desaturated colors, feeling of strangeness and danger from a fish's point of view. So, and then here's here you see the sketch of the Marine Life Institute, a.k.a. MLI. Yeah, it doesn't look very friendly, does it? And this too, or not not this, this is colorful, but look at how depressing this looks. Ooh, and ominous. Uh, okay, number six, to make the ocean seem more believable, animators were extra careful to make sure there was no repetition in shapes and patterns underwater. Here we see a lovely pastel from the work, and they said, uh, let's see, the hyper-organic look, da-da-da. Okay, well, that uh, let's move on. Around 103,000 storyboards delivered to the editorial team. That's crazy. Now look at this looks funny. Including a hilariously uncomfortable scene involving kids and a touch tank. Dun dun dun. Look at you can see their little fingers here touching the poor fish. I wonder if this scene actually makes the movie. We'll have to look for that. And there you Can you see Dory? There she is right here. Um, she's probably like, don't touch me. Poor thing. So somehow she ends up in a touch tank. <laughs> and a coffee pot, too, huh? Can't wait to see this. Finding Dory, the first movie to use Pixar's new and improved rendering system. Renderman RIS enables more realistic lighting. 
there's Dory and there's our buddy Nemo and there's the, the uh, stingrays going by. Especially important for water, billions of light rays reflected and refracted. So this is some pretty cool scoop um, about the movie and I've got some more for you right here. I found these. This is from Yahoo Movies. Uh, the director Andrew Stanton gave us a little tidbit about some of the voice actors. Let's see if I can find this. Uh, uh, bah, bah, bah. Okay, he's got a new character named Destiny who we're going to meet. Uh, she's a friend of Dory's from her past, from the Marine Life Institute. And uh, it says here she's going to be voiced by Caitlin Olsen. I don't know who she is. Maybe you do, but she's an actress. He said he's wanted to work with for a long time. Really talented. She's in Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Maybe you know her and he said I'd love to animate that voice she has one of those amazing voices here's a photo of her maybe this will help you I, I still don't know who she is but just seeing this photo I'm like oh they're gonna have so much fun with her if she's a fish with her big eyes right would that be fun just like with um, just like with our girl Dory and and like this too they have so much fun with eyes with fish because it helps them make them more and more expressive so this one's from Hello Giggles uh, was another piece of good scoop I found on voice actors for us. Uh -huh. Dory's parents set to make an appearance. Her mom will be voiced by Diane Keaton and her dad by Eugene Levy. Uh, great comedic actor he is. And we, of course we know Diane Keaton. Modern Family's Ty Burrell is going to voice a beluga whale named Bailey. So that'll be fun too. And of course we're going to meet Octopus and some of these other fun things. And then to wrap up here I found this from Screen Rant about two more actors. These guys are from HBO's The Wire. Uh, maybe you've heard of them but Michael Kenneth Williams it looks like. Is that who it is? No I'm sorry. Uh, Elba and I Idris Elba and Dominic West. Both guys from The Wire. Now we don't know exactly which fish they're going to play but we'll have to look for their voices in the movie too so I just thought I would share that they used to work together on the wire or maybe they still do I don't even know if it's still on but they were sworn to secrecy they couldn't tell us exactly what their voice characters will be but they're in the movie too along with Diane Keaton and Eugene Levy and all other kinds of good folks so anything in particular you're looking most forward to about finding Dory now that we've seen these tidbits I'm curious to find out what she's doing in the coffee pot <laughs> or the touch tank so keep leaving your comments as always please subscribe if you haven't yet and thanks for watching check out my other videos too it's diane banks take care we'll talk soon